Welcome to your Ethereum News Roundup. Here's your latest for Thursday, August 1st, 2024. Year C goes live on base. Ethereum developers prepare for Pectra DevNet 3. Coinbase releases its quarter 2 earnings report. And Morpho Labs raises a $50 million funding round. All this and more starts right after this message. This episode is sponsored by Firefly, a one-stop Web3 social aggregator developed by Mass Network. Use one feed to connect with all users across Twitter, Lens, Farcaster, and all Web3 socials. Try it today at firefly.social. Circle launched your C. It's Europect stablecoin on base mainnet. The stablecoin is compliant with Europe's market in crypto assets Mika regulation and is issued by Circle France. Qualified financial institutions can now mint and burn your C directly on Circle Mint which also supports deposits and withdrawals across multiple chains, eliminating the need to use third-party bridges. Retail users can access ERC on Coinbase for on and off ramping. The ERC stablecoin currently has a market cap of $38 million compared to USDC's $33 billion. An initial liquidity pool for ERC and USDC is now available on Aerodrome, the largest DEX on base. Ethereum core developers are preparing to deploy the third DevNet for Pectra. Client teams are currently addressing bugs in DevNet 2, which includes a specification for EAP 7702. Core developers are also evaluating whether to include RIP 7212 a standard for secure and cost-effective signature verifications using the SECP256R1 elliptic curve. The standard reduces the costs associated with smart wallets. Tim Baker, coordinator of the Accord Dev Skulls, emphasized that Pectra is already a packed upgrade. The decision to include RIP7212 will be made once there is a clearer understanding of the readiness of the other EIPs. The Pectra upgrade currently includes 19 EIPs and is anticipated to launch in the first quarter of 2025. Coinbase published its Q2 2024 earnings report showing $1.4 billion in revenue for the quarter. Over 40% of the revenue originated from subscriptions and services. Coinbase attributed the increase to higher USDC balances on the exchange and the growing USDC market cap. The exchange reported $36 million in net income. The report also underscored Coinbase's role as the custodian for eight of the nine spot Ethereum ETFs, the public launch of the Coinbase smart wallet, leading Layer 2 transaction activity, and the reduction of transaction fees on base. And lastly, Morpho Labs, a base infrastructure layer for building lending applications, raised a $50 million funding round led by Rivet Capital. Morpho Blue, the protocol's native lending platform, supports isolated lending markets, allowing for higher collateralization factors and improved interest rates. Morpho Blue is currently live on Ethereum mainnet and on base with over a billion dollars in deposits. Morpho plans to use the fresh capital to enhance the network's decentralization, further develop Morpho Blue and Morpho Vaults, and support its ecosystem builders with grants. In other news, Convergence suffers an exploit and Base introduces Base.eth subnames. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories in Ethereum. You can support this podcast by subscribing and following us on X at ETH Daily. Also subscribe to our newsletter at ethdaily.io. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.